Yeah, hi, Lauren, Steve. We obtained these documents just a short while ago, and they outline exactly what Omar Drabik is charged with at this point. Investigators are alleging that Drabik killed Hadil Hikmat, then threw her body over a bridge and into Jordan Lake to help conceal the murder. And ABC 11 was on scene on August 29th at Jordan Lake when a boater first reported finding a body in the water. At that time, a law enforcement presence was visible on a bridge over Jordan Lake. Now, these documents do not specify if that was the exact bridge investigators alleged Sheikman's body was tossed over. They don't specify an exact timeline for the crimes either. Drabik's being held without bond here in Pittsburgh at the Chatham County Sheriff's Office Detention Center and is scheduled to appear in court next on September 25th. Earlier today, Hadil's brother Firas reacted to the news that his brother-in-law had been arrested in connection with his sister's death. I don't know exactly if I'm happy that Omar is in jail or sad because of my sister's murder, Hadil. Nothing can get her back. A lot of questions still, obviously. We're still working to learn what exactly the recent searches of Hickman and Drabik's home on Treviso Way in Apex, as well as the search of Drabik's parents' home in North Raleigh, may have yielded in leading to today's arrest. The search warrants that contain that information were not available here at the Chatham County Courthouse. We're obviously efforting to get those. ABC 11's attempts to reach the Drabik family were unsuccessful today. We did reach out to Drabik's lawyer. We've spoken with her previously. We, she was in court today in the triad, but we're still waiting to hear back from her. And we're live in Pittsburgh. Sean Coffey, ABC 11, Eyewitness News.